actually. He's behind the camera uh, with just having fun beekeeping. Um, today, it's January 16th. It's 10.20 in the evening, and we were bored on Friday evening, so we're going to make sugar cakes for the beehives um, doing a winter feeding. It's been warmer, um, so the bees are more active. Um, when they're more active, they eat more. So we want to make sure that we have enough food in there. Um, we didn't take any of their honey supplies from the fall, but um, we want to help supplement their, their food just in case they're going through it. That way, they have a better chance of living through the winter. So what we're going to do is make a sugar cake. Um, the recipe we're going to use is uh, we bought a, a bag of sugar. It's pure cane sugar. It's four pounds in this bag. Um, and we did use a scale measured out. So the conversion, what we're going to do is for the four pounds of sugar, we're going to use six ounces of water. So we just go ahead and dump the sugar into a mixing bowl. And we're going to measure out our, actually you should do this on a flat surface. So you get six ounces of water exact to the four pounds of the sugar. And what we're going for, it's going to look like it's not enough water, um, but you don't want a sugar cake that is totally saturated because you don't want all that moisture left in the hive causing any kind of condensation or anything like that. So you got to get the right mix to make a candy is what we're looking for. So if you want to come over here, Dane, and then we'll go ahead and just dump that in. And see already, I mean, it just doesn't look like enough. But you just get into mixing it up real well. And the end product will be a mixture that you can actually dump in our tinfoil pan here and compress down. It works out well. Um, what we'll also add is a mixture I had pre-made this. It's a sugar syrup with essential oils. And the lid's not... <laughs> the lid is not going to come off anymore. Okay. A little water over that. The sugar is hardened in there, making it very tight. Oh my goodness. Okay. Just a note to any beekeepers that might be watching that, that's what's going to happen. Oh, it smells good. Here, smell that. Can you just smell it out there? Mm. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to add. This is very similar to a um, honeybee healthy mix. Um, we have essential oils mixed in here. What we use is uh, spearmint oil, lemongrass oil, sugar, water. Basically, that's it. Um, but anyway, the bees tend to love it. We use this mixture in a um, in our uh, sugar water feeds in the spring and fall. So we just. I just do it to the eye. You don't need to go crazy with it. But it does get them up there curious even more so to the sugar patty with that smell, that scent of that lemongrass oil. It smells so good. They seem to like it. Essential oils have very good health benefits to the bees. Some say that it helps control mite or any kind of infestation you might have or um, any kind of disease that might be spread throughout the hive. And it's a natural source for the bees. So you're not pumping any kind of chemical product into your hives. So therefore, you, know, you don't have to worry about any kind of, you know, if you're going all natural, you know, you don't have to worry about any kind of contamination to your honey either. 
Note to self also, <laughs> when you're doing essential oil feeds, you don't necessarily want to do it when you're coming into a honey flow because you don't want, you know, you want that to be the food that they eat. I'm making a mess. Okay, so anyway, if you can see the consistency of the sugar now is, is perfect. This is the perfect mix right here. Not that much water, I got it mixed pretty good. And what we're going to do is dump it into this pan here. And then what I do is go over it with a spatula and start to pack it down and get it nicely packed, real firm. Now this is fairly deep. I, I'm going to put this whole thing actually in one hive. Um, and I do have some left over, so I may do one more pan if I can find it. But anyway, so what you're going to do just start packing this down with the spatula. Get it compressed pretty good. And then, after this, you basically want to let it sit out and let some of that water evaporate slightly. Um, you want the sugar to dry out. And once it does, you have a hardened basically a giant sugar cube. Some people put it in the oven slightly to dehydrate. We just have the oven on warm. You just put it in there and that's it. Let it go. Um, we, you know, let, the, let it dry out and harden. You could do it like basically I just touch it. If it's nice and solid then it's ready to go. You could take it, put it right directly into your hive, or if you're not doing that, you could store it. Um, it'll store until you use it. It stores pretty well. You just gotta watch, you know, you don't drop bugs depending on the time of year too, you know. So that's it. It's a sugar cake for our beehives. At just having fun. In here with just having fun. After about two still shot photos, Dane, he's ready to go. He's on camera <laughs> again out here <laughs> at our bee yard. Um, sugar cake's done. This is it. So anyway, um, we're going to uh, put it in our hives. So, this is our insulated winter cover. Um, it's vented. Um, we taped up some of the vents because it was a little bit much. But anyway, it's vented. Bees can get out if they want from the top entrance. Um, if the bottom entrance was um, jammed up by dead bees but they don't seem to have any problems. It's like 46 degrees today. Perfect day to go ahead and put the sugar cake in. We're not going to like keep it open for any long period of time. But if you want to see, we also have a winter patty in here. You'll get to see the progress of the bees on that. We made this so the top can pull out the insulated inner cover. And as you can see, there's no condensation whatsoever on our top cover because it is insulated. And that's that. So we'll let them, we don't want to stay too long. Cover that bag up. And on to our second hive. This one we had in our foil pan. So <clears throat> these are the meaner bees. That's the calmer hive. So we'll see how these girls are doing. Sometimes they like to fly out at your face, so I may be in for it. Doesn't want to come out. Okay, yeah. Let them calm down for a second. I jolted it pretty hard, so <laughs> they're not too happy. Startles them, as I would expect. You could really smell the 
lemongrass and spearmint oils in there. Okay, so we have, you know what, they still have sugar cake. Um, and they still have a winter patty. So I really don't need to. I mean, I could put this in. I just don't have enough room. There's one to come out to look at me. What, you, what are you doing? I'm going to have to move that other one out of the way. Um, I don't want to disturb them though because they're on it eating. You know what? We're going to let this hive go. They have enough sugar. And enough winter patty. So we may just go ahead and let them finish that sugar cake off. As you can see, you know, that one was smaller. Because what I did was I took this one, split it in half, and put the two in the, each hive. That one either finished it up and ate it or they got rid of it. If they don't like it, they'll get rid of it. Um, if they do like it, they'll eat it. So my guess is probably 50-50 with that hive. All right. Well, anyway, that's that. That's the uh, sugar cake that we made feeding on December 19th. It's Like I said, it's 46 degrees, so it's a good opportunity to get in and get out. So, Ken here, just having fun. And Dane. <laughs> Y'all have yourself a good day now, you hear?